How's it going, everyone? Today we have Keaton Master Donato on with us today. He's a sophomore with NCAA D1 Kinesius College. Uh, Keaton from Powell River, British Columbia, Canada. Um, also a two-year BCHL Alberni Valley Bulldog. Uh, he was drafted by the Tri-City Storm in the USHL. Um, thanks for coming on with us today. Thanks for having me. So Keaton, um, after a successful BCHO career and getting a scholarship to Kinesius, um, what are some areas and some experiences that you could share with us um, with for the players, parents and coaches? Um, a big thing for me would be uh, building relationships with different coaches, different people, um, meeting people throughout the hockey world is so important, I think, and always being open to new opinions and um, for me personally, it was perseverance. I think I had a goal from a really young age of getting an NCAA scholarship and playing at the BCHL level. And for me, it was always goal setting, always trying to attain my goals, um, whether it was short-term goals, long-term goals, uh, always building up to that, acquiring knowledge from different coaches, different people in the hockey world where I could try and find that little extra thing I could do to try and obtain those goals and, and make the jump to the next level. And I think that's the biggest thing in uh, transitioning from the BCHL to college for me. For sure. So when talking about perseverance, um, can you give any uh, examples of that? I mean, as much as it sounds like we're, we were similar to uh, in relating of goals of playing hockey, it sounds like you loved hockey at a young age, you knew what you yeah. wanted uh, and you strive towards that. What's, what types of per perseverance did you go through in your younger days, even in, even within the past few years too? Um, well, for me personally, I played on a couple teams where we didn't have a lot of winning success. Uh, so I learned a lot through that. Um, I think that really shaped me into the player I am. Uh, sometimes parents, players, they're discouraged by a lot being on losing teams and, uh, I've been on teams with success, teams without success. I think it's important to important to experience both sides of it. I think it really helps a player. Um, uh, it helped me personally with my drive. Uh, I always wanted to get better. I wanted to be a part of the team. I wanted to be a part of the success. So I think that was one of the biggest things for me. Yeah, I think I think it's really important. To, uh, something that's not discussed that much, uh, even on this podcast, is is what you're talking about of, of, of losing. And, and learning yeah. to lose. Um, I think how I come across it in today's world in minor hockey and younger kids and parents and coaches, um, yes, they're stressing to win and, and at times a little too much. It's just based solely on winning the game than, than yeah. actually what's going on throughout the game or practices. Um, but it's funny because I've been a coach for a long time not with this business, but since I was younger, I used to coach spring hockey teams and actually used to kind of run things as much as I had an adult uh, there with me. And he was the head coach's title, but I was able to, he was let me free will of, of kind of things that I wanted to say and do, which was awesome. Um, but that's one of the biggest things I found that stress is you got to learn to lose because I see all these kids that win all the time and that are like superstars given on the ages of six to like, I don't know, say 12 to 14. So that's like novice Adam Pee Wee and maybe some Bantams. They don't even know how to lose. So they throw a huge hissy fit uh, after yeah. they lose the game, but really they should be giving themselves like a pat on the back of how hard they and their team worked um, exactly. <laughs> and feel like they should take it as a stepping stone of like, wow, that was a tough game. We, we lost. We, we obviously didn't do enough to win the game or, or get it. I guess, but it's important that they learn to. Yeah. To, um, it's like an, as an individual too, you need to learn from your mistakes. And I think going through the different levels of hockey, uh, making big mistakes, little mistakes, every little mistake, you got to take it in, uh, assess the situation and just learn from that scenario. If you have to ask someone, I think I know for me personally, I love analyzing video. I love going over game, game stuff with my coaches and, and different skill skill coaches. So I, I like to go over that side of the game and just break the game down. Um, don't, I don't like to look too much into it. I don't want to overanalyze, but at the same time, I like to uh, delve into that. And 
that aspect of the game and, and notify my mistakes and kind of learn from it going forward. Yeah, no, exactly. Um, and, and going back to the whole perseverance, like at times throughout your life and career, you feel like you're a little down and out adversity that you face. Um, I played on a number of, we'll say low, lower end crappy yeah. or teams that just didn't win very much. Um, it's not fun. No, but you find ways of, it's almost like you think more of like how you can, how the team can do better or care more or what they need to do to, to take that next step forward to trying to win. I think it really helped me develop my mindset, my attitude towards the game too. I think losing not a, like a little bit in a row, like if you get on through a big losing streak, I think you come together a lot with your teammates and like you said, like, what can I do personally to, to help this situation? And I think for me, it was, I just wanted to get better every day and just try and make myself that much better to help my team get out of slumps. Or if it's a personal slump, it's, it's like I said, drawing back to perseverance. It's, you don't quit doing the things you're doing already. You just stick with it, stick with the process and good outcomes going to come for you sooner or later. You're also during that time, you're learning how to move on positive, and especially negative if it's negative and things aren't going where you're not feeling great you learn to keep moving forward while adjusting some things and and uh yeah just learning different little mental tricks or, or habits and yeah and all these other things no that's a it's a great point um is there any times or areas that you could share based on i guess perseverance of adversity of maybe injuries or big setbacks like that you maybe weren't allowed to play uh, any maybe suspensions or anything that that held you back a little bit uh no i i was i've actually been pretty fortunate uh with injuries and and knock on wood i've i've played a lot uh through my careers i think i missed one or two games in junior and uh missed a couple games last year but i think i really i really noticed it at the college level was coming in and it's like you're compiled with all these great players and there's so many guys here to uh to make up a roster and there's only so many guys that can play every night so I think learning that that aspect of things and how every week it's almost like a it's almost like a tryout like you're you're competing within your team for the that extra space and extra spots on the roster and uh I think that really uh elevated my game last year and it made me really focus on the little things whether it was in games, practices, away from the rink. Just coming to the college level, I think a lot of it, uh, you have to act like a pro at the rink, away from the rink. And I think for me, uh, that aspect, I guess last year coming in, I knew as a freshman I'd have to battle a lot more for ice time, battle a lot more for opportunity. And I think the biggest advice I could give is when you get that opportunity, do what you can with it. Don't, don't waste it ever. Don't ever waste an opportunity because for me last year, I started off slow. I was battling to really find my game and uh, drawn back to perseverance. I think uh, I just stuck with it. Uh, I believed in myself as a player. And from there, I got a couple opportunities and was able to make uh, some good situations from it.